What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove the Apple ID from an iCloud locked device that is activated. And to do that, we're going to use a software called For Me Key, which has indeed been updated and it has a new feature in here. The software can be found here on the Tenorshare website and there is a free trial available for you to be able to see what it can do. Now, what this tool does is to aid in removing Apple IDs and of course, remove iCloud activation lock and even turn off Find My iPhone phone on a device for which you forgot the Apple ID that you used to activate it or even for a second hand device that you bought from eBay or Craigslist or whatever and the seller forgot to take off the Apple ID and it's no longer responding or even scammed you and they demand more money to unlock your device. This has happened in the past. So this tool would basically allow you to do that. Now there are some limitations to this tool that I'm going to get into right before showing how it works and the biggest limitation is that it wouldn't work on the iPhone 12, on the iPhone 11. 11, 11 Pro, 10s, 10s Max and so on. So this program would work fine but it will only work on the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 5s. Newer devices would not work. Now all the devices that are supported are available in here. iPhone 5s, 6, 6s, 10, 8, 8 Plus, 7, 7 Plus and so on. All the iPods and iPads available are in here and the software is available for both Windows and Mac OS so it doesn't really matter if you don't have a Mac you can use the Windows version which is available for for Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10 and so on. But do keep in mind that this software will not work for the iPhone 12, 11 or iPhone 10s Max. So I have my iPod connected in here. It's the latest generation of an iPod, it's the iPod Touch. And if you go ahead in here on the devices, it shows that my device is supported. So iPod, it says iPod Touch 6 or 7. Mine is 7, which is the latest. Another important thing you should keep in mind is that you will not be able to place any calls or use a SIM card with a bypass device. So let's go ahead and unlock the Apple ID. We're going to use this feature here. It says unlock Apple ID and it says remove Apple ID and disable services such as iCloud, the App Store, iMessage and so on and even find my iPhone. So this will clean up the device and it says in here for me key will remove the Apple ID of iPod Touch. It says unlocking the Apple ID will erase all data on the device. Please first back up to avoid data loss. So if you have anything on that device that you need, you should definitely back it up. Now keep in mind that this option works for devices that are already activated like this. So I'm here on the device. You can see the device is fully functional. However, it does have an Apple ID here. If you press on it, it is indeed connected on the iCloud side in here and here on the Find My iPhone, you can see that Find My iPhone is on. And of course, we can disable Find My Network, but we cannot disable Find My iPod. It's going to ask for the password, which we probably don't know. So indeed, we do need that before we can get rid of this. So this device is indeed locked to iCloud. And if you want, to remove this Apple ID completely from here with everything iCloud and everything from this so that you can add your own here on the App Store then follow the instructions I'm going to present further. Alright so as you could see the device works it's already activated but if I restore it to factory settings the next time it powers on it's going to ask me for that Apple ID and it's going to ask for iCloud activation so this will remove that Apple ID so that I can use mine in order to get apps. It says in here unlocking Apple ID will disable find my device and enable you to sign out of the iCloud. You can use this device as brand new after unlocking. So you will be able to put your own Apple ID to activate the device. So in this case, the SIM card may work. But in cases like the iCloud activation unlock, which is this one in here, this one will not allow you to use the SIM card, but this one may. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to press next. And it says in here to remove the device from iCloud, please follow the tutorial below to set up your device. So it says in there, connect to a Wi-Fi network on your device, which I have already done. I'm already connected to Wi-Fi here. Here. Then it says in here to go to the Wi-Fi as you can see from the photo and press on the little eye icon in there and scroll to configure proxy which in my case is set to off. I'm gonna go press in here and it says set it to manual which I did and then add that server in there appleid.tenorshare.com and on the port make sure that the port is 8080 so 8080 and then on the authentication leave it off and press save. Alright we're going to have to open Safari on the device as shown in that picture in there and go to tenorshare.com slash Apple ID. Alright so as you can see we have to remove Apple ID please download and install the certificate. 
So I'm gonna go ahead in here and press download certificate as it shows in here. So download certificate, we're going to have to say allow and close. So now I'm going to go back in here on the Wi-Fi and make sure that I re-enable the manual in here and set the server back because otherwise you wouldn't be able to download these certificates. So I'm gonna go back in here. All right, so then we go ahead and trust the certificate. It says to go ahead in here on uh, general, but we can also go to profile downloaded and install, install again and install. So that's it, we press done. So after that, it says in here certificate trust. So we should be good to go. Then we need to go back to settings and then we need to go to general about and scroll all the way down to certificate trust settings in here and enable full trust for root certificate and I'm going to say unlock Apple ID and continue and that's it so here on the about well the next step would be to go back in settings in here and go to the Apple ID so you press in here and then you navigate to iCloud and then you have in here unlock Apple ID and then I'm going to go here to manage storage and it says iCloud and as you can see unlock Apple ID success that's it so now I'm going to press next in here and it says remove the device from find my please check iCloud status so I'm going to copy the serial number from here and go to verify FMI status so let's see what's going on and I'm going to paste my serial number here and check let's see if the find my iPhone is now off all right so as you can see iPod touch 7 and it says find my iPhone is now off off and the device is activated. So at this point we're going to type in here that it says it's off and press confirm and it says removing Apple ID requires resetting your device. So I'm going to press reset and at this point the device rebooted and that's it. At this point it's going to reset everything on the device and once it completes you will be back to the setup screen and you will be able to activate the device without any Apple ID. This is incredible and I have no idea how they do it but it does work. All right, so as you can see, the device is now activating after it has been reset and it's activating without any Apple ID. No longer need any Find My iPhone or previous owner or whatever. So if you've been scammed with a device that is locked or you simply forgot your Apple ID because you made a throwaway to get apps, then of course this would be great. This would be a great option. So I'm not going to set any passcode. I'm going to try to skip through all this in here. Don't transfer anything. Forgot or I don't have any Apple ID in here. Agree with the terms and conditions and go with continue here, continue here and don't share anything. Don't share anything in here either. Continue and get started. And that's it. You can see the device has been reset. It's installing the applications again. But then if you press here on settings, there is no Apple ID. You can set your own. And this one would work for App Store as well and FaceTime and wherever. So you can see no Apple ID in here. You can just set up your own. So yeah, I'm going to show you that it's the same device. I'm going to show you the serial number again here. You can see the CCQYP4, whatever. It's the same device in here that I got from eBay. So this is the same device. It does work. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.